Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to fully load, jailbreak the Fire Stick. So what I mean putting apps for live television, sports, movies, and all these other things. Why am I doing the video again? Is because few things have updated, few things have changed, and I've added some information to the store to help you guys out that are struggling with some apps and how to use them and things like that, and I'll explain it all. So the first thing you want to do on your Fire Stick, if you just connect it to the internet and your interface looks like this, you want to go to the gear icon. That's the first thing you want to do. And then you want to go to My Fire TV. Once there, you'll see this about, and you may see developer options, you may not. Don't worry if you don't see developer options, because all you're going to do is click on About under My Fire TV or uh, My Device. Click on About. It'll take you to another menu. You should see your device name, and then you should see a couple more options. What you want to click on the device name eight times one two three four five six seven eight see how it says no need you're already a developer so if you're not a developer this is going to turn on developer options for you clicking eight times on the actual device name this is the first thing we have to do okay once we've done that you can click back and you'll see that you'll have developer options okay once you've done that hit the home button go to the find and search here and search for an application called downloader you can use the voice search or you can just type it in the search box. So I'm going to click into it and I'm going to use the Alexa downloader. So you can also type it in downloader just like that downloader app and it'll find the downloader app. You just click on the downloader app and you're going to click on this download button. It's going to queue it and it's going to download the downloader application. I'm not going to open it up yet because I'm going to explain a couple things with VPNs and how to get into the unlinked store, okay? So let it install the downloader application and once that's done, it's going to say open, but now you can just press the home button. Let's press the home button. Okay, so we've successfully installed the downloader application. Now we have to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is go straight to developer options by clicking the settings here followed by going to my fire tv my device and going into developer options as you remember we enabled these earlier and install unknown apps we're going to click on that and as you can see downloader is off but we're going to turn downloader on okay that's all you have to do once you're done that we're going to press the home button okay so we're back home we install downloader and we turn developer options on and we then turn downloader to be able to install apps we uh, turn the uh, install apps from unknown sources on for downloader okay now before I run downloader I'm gonna go to find button and search for an avatar application and we're gonna search for IP vanish VPN so we're gonna type in IP okay vanish just like that IP vanish okay type in IP vanish and hit the uh, d-pad middle and it should come up green like this and white. Click on that, okay? And download the IP Vanish VPN. Now you ask me, why am I getting IP Vanish before running Downloader? Well, because a lot of ISPs are blocking getting unlinked. So we're unable to actually connect to the unlinked server. We're not able to get into the store and we're not gonna be able to download apps. Also, it's gonna give us more links and more content. And one account of IP Vanish or a VPN is you can run on many Fire Sticks or many devices. It's unlimited devices in the same household. So if you got five Fire Sticks, you got a couple of phones, you can run one account on all those devices. People have asked me before, so you can run it on a lot of devices. Now, when it finishes downloading IP Vanish, you have to open it up and you have to log in with your own username and password. To get your own username and password, you can scan this barcode here with your phone, or you can go to this bit link here. Also, there's a link in the pinned comment and description. Open up a browser on a phone or open up a browser on a desktop, wherever you feel comfortable on, and go to the IP Vanish website that's in the uh, pinned comment link description. There's a link, and also maybe by scanning the barcode or going to this link directly up here, the bit.ly link, typing it in on your phone. Once you land on that page, you'll get a special discount. It's, you know, it's a coffee a month. Uh, it's a cup of coffee at Starbucks or whatever a month. Uh, and you can use it on unlimited devices and it's going to give you access to the unlinked store to get applications for in the unlinked store for movies tv shows and all that stuff okay and it's going to keep you protected and it's going to keep you anonymous and it's going to keep you safe when you're streaming content okay so that's available right here and also pink comment description you can get an account once this installs 
we're going to log right in, okay? So you can see when the app installs, you get a notification like that. We're going to open up the IP Vanish once it installs. I'm going to log in with our own username and password. And like I said, that's available in the pink comment description link and also here on the screen. I'm, you can pause the video now, right now, go get your own account from these links here that you see the link here or in the pinned comment description. Once you sign up for an account, confirm your email address from IPVanish and then you'll be able to log in with your own username and password that you set up when you obtained an account. So pause the video, obtain account, and then let's continue watching. I'm going to log into mine and I'm going to show you how to use it. So get that IPVanish, get it all set up, then we're going to be able to get the unlinked application, okay? Okay, once I log into the IP Vanish account with your own account, you'll not be connected, you'll see not connected. There's a few things we gotta do. Click on the gear icon, and we're gonna say connect on Android Startup. That's gonna run it every time we start it up. Click the back button. Go to location here, click on the little location button. And the country we gotta select to get the unlinked application and to get into the store is United States. So select United States click on it and say favorite United States. We're going to put in our favorite and then we're going to click on United States again and we're going to say connect to United States. This is going to pop up. We're going to click the OK button and we're going to wait a few seconds. The screen should blink and then it should connect to the United States server. And there you go, screen blinks and we should now be connected to United States. Okay, once we're connected and secure, that's available, like I said, PidCom in description, also in the link here. Okay, once we're done that, let's hit the home button and let's go back to downloader. And now we're going to be able to go to the unlinked link. Okay, so go in here, click on downloader. It's going to open up downloader, click on the allow button and click on the OK button. Okay, click up until you see the yellow highlighted navigation field here or search term URL field. Click into it, click in the middle of the D-pad and put in the following URL. If your VPN is not on, you might get an error that you cannot connect here, okay? So make sure you turn your VPN on, okay? Your IP vanish on, like I have done, right? I have my VPN running, okay? So we're gonna type in unlinked.link, okay? Once you typed in unlinked.link, no need for HTTP and all that stuff, press the go button and it's going to connect and it's going to throw you into this download thing, right? So give it a second. You'll see a website pulls up and then you can see I'm moving the cursor around the unlinked website. So with a VPN, we connected successfully, no problems, okay? Scroll down until you see download APK, uh, APK Android. Click on that download APK Android and it's going to pop up with something like this. Okay, just give it a minute. It'll start downloading. You can see 3.9 megabytes. When it finishes downloading, we're going to install the unlinked application. Okay, there you go, unlinked. We're going to press the install button and we're not going to open it up yet. We're going to press the done button when it's finished. Let's press that done button. Okay, here we are. And then press the delete button and press the delete button to erase the actual install file, okay, because it's already installed. So if we hit on the home button and we go to the three squares plus sign, you'll see that we have downloader, we have IP vanish running and we have unlinked, okay? Now don't start unlinked yet. Hit the home button, I'll show you a little trick. Uh, go in here, gear icon again, and go to my Fire TV and go to developer options that we enabled in the first step, install unknown apps and turn unlinked on. So this you have to do for other applications for movies and stuff. If you want to update them, you'll turn them on here, install unknown apps. You'll make sure that they're on in developer options, okay? Once you're done that, hit the home button and go back in here, three dots plus sign and start up the unlinked application, okay? This is going to come up and add new library, we're going to click on new library and click in here and we're going to put in the following code. We're going to put in fire stick, okay? Fire and stick, okay? Put in fire stick all lowercase and once you've done that, you're going to press the next button once you put in fire stick. Make sure your VPN is on or you might have an error. Okay, let's press next. That's going to throw you into my store. Please make sure that you read the welcome message. This tells you which applications are the top ones that I like 
for movies and TV shows and which ones I like for live TV, okay? And that's going to cover all of you, okay? That's going to cover all the best applications. I always update my list. That's why I always do a video every month because things have changed and now you know which ones to use today. So take out your phone, take a picture of this welcome screen before you press enter here. And then you'll know which ones you should be installing, which ones work, and which ones you're going to get the best streaming experience with, okay? Read the welcome message, take out your iPhone, take out your Android phone, whatever you're using, and take a picture of this screen, okay? Once you're done that, press the enter button and you're going to enter my store. So I'm gonna press the enter button here. Once you're in my store, you can scroll up and down and left, right to see all the applications. I'm showing you Fire Stick tools, uh, but you'll find a lot of other applications. If you scroll up and down in the store, left to right, you'll see a lot of applications for movies, TV shows, and this is the same way you would get. So you would click on any application. I'm using this as an example only. So task, kill, fire, stick. I would click on it. And then I would press the download button. And that would download the application. And this applies to every application that you scroll through in my store under each category. So I got live TV categories. I got movies and TV show categories. I got sports categories. I got it all set up. Once you click and download it, it will give you an option to install app. Click on install app. It will pop up this and then you press the install button and once it installs you will get a notification here and it will throw you back into the unlinked application and the same with other apps you can just click on it download and do this do the same thing to that application as well it's the same process scroll up and down to get each application once you install the application you can also click on that application and People, I encourage people to do this for every application you get because I'm going to be doing a series of videos. So when you click view tutorial, it's going to pop up YouTube and it's going to send you to that actual video or any other service that I might use to put that video on, maybe Rumble or somewhere. And I'm going to show you actually how to use that application. So view tutorial is going to drive you to that a specific video and you're going to be able to see the full tutorial how to use some of these applications and what are the quirks and things like that so if you're having some issues I'll be putting tutorials of those applications just click view tutorial and then you'll be able to check that out there okay and that's pretty much it and you can hit the home button and you can hit the three dots plus sign and then if you have your VPN on I'll show you my IP vanish was on highly encourage you to get it you'll get more links you'll get more content get more sports and you will always get all the updates in my unlinked application okay I was running here for six minutes connected it's a good thing I'm fully safe fully secure and everything is running well and then I can go back to unlinked at any time now some applications if you install them and they don't show up here in, in the in your apps and games there's another trick on a fire stick that you can do you can click on the gear icon, you can go to My Fire TV, and you can simply go Okay, uh, My Fire TV. Instead of My Fire TV, sorry, actually go to Applications. So we were in Settings and Applications, not My Fire TV. And once you're there, you can manage install apps and you can launch them from here as well. Okay? That's pretty much it. Okay, so you see you got YouTube, you got Unlink, and you can launch them from there if they don't show up in your applications, your apps and games screen here. Okay, but so far a lot of them will show up, but if they don't for some reason, you can launch them from there. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's my current update. Uh, the tutorials are pretty important for some people that are saying things are not working. The welcome message is very important. Running the VPN is very important. You can get the VPN from scanning the barcode here, going to this link on linked in the pinned comment description to get all the updates and unlinked. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, for being here. And one thing I ask you, if you want to continue, have access to my unlinked, uh, as some people have been using my code to make videos and using the store to kind of promote their, their channels and things like that. Uh, just, you know, stealing my hard work. I'd appreciate if you comment below what city and town you're from that keeps me motivated, keeps me going. Just comment where you're from. I highly appreciate it. I'll hit a like on your comment. If you have any issues or problems, comment as well. I'll respond. I'll try to respond to a lot of comments. And thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And please do comment. That's all I ask. I don't ask for any donations. I don't ask for any money. I just ask for your comment. Just drop a comment. Say where you know me from. How'd you find me perhaps? What city and town you're from? 
and you know what's your favorite sports team whatever just drop me a comment that makes me super super happy and excited to help you thank you guys for watching thank you for being here and i'll see you all in the next video take care